Hi everyone, uh, I will be demoing some extension work which we did on ASV CI pipelines with regarding to thought advisors. Uh, so before going to that, uh, there was a previous demo in the previous sprint 49 by Fido, and it was regarding uh, Intel TensorFlow and how how we can get uh, thought advisors for that particular software stack. And you can have a look at that particular stack in the branch in terms of CL, CLI examples. I'm displaying it on my fork just because uh, I'm trying to still work on this uh, this uh, theory of like the work which I'm right now doing. And I just didn't want to push it to the production. So I'm just, I, I will dip, uh, demo it in my folks. Uh, so, uh, so Frida has already demoed about the stack and how you can query Thomas, uh, Thomas advice and get uh, thought recommendations. And then you can also get the deployment config changes or the change manifest changes, which you can embed into your deployment config and you can run your application on any uh, on Kubernetes or OpenShift. Uh, so what are we doing here with uh, AICU-ECI? We want that AICU-ECI pipelines, the Tekton-based pipelines to run these up uh, thought advisors and make those changes uh, go as a pull request and directly to the user on a GitHub repository. And at the same time, update their GitHub's repository where they uh, store their manifest files for deployment through Argo CD uh, systems, right? So if we have seen through AICU CI, CI YAML a lot of times. So there's some little updates on that. So uh, we had this block called deploy. Uh, so uh, what does it used to do? Like with deploy, you can define which project repository, project name, and a uh, overlay context path. So uh, initially used to de uh, define these three things. Based on these three things, the deploy, the CI pipelines will uh, deploy your image streams, uh, like the whenever an image is built through a tag release or a pull request release. Uh, it, picks that particular image from uh, the query uh, registry and embeds that into your image stream in a in that uh, GitOps repository. So for example, here we have CLI examples. Uh, so it would have updated this particular image with a newer tag release. So now there's an update with a deployment application. So you define what is the application you want to deploy. Uh, I have named it different right now. I'm uh, to show you like there is, if you do different changes, like how it will show up in your, uh, like how the changes will show up in the uh, manifest repository. So that's why I've named it differently here. Like I'm just saying TensorFlow job. And uh, these were the previous changes. So one additional information is just defining the deployment application. So if you go to the actual manifest file, sorry, I was already there. So uh, in CLI ex examples in this. So here I have defined CLI examples. I just want to show like what will happen if you define it differently, like what would be the error and all that. So these are the chain, uh, like you have, you basically define all this and your Argo CD will deploy based on the customization file, right? Uh, so we have only one thing we want to, we would use this image and that and everything else from the base. Uh, so this, once it's done, you can just create a tag and make a release. Uh, I have already done it, uh, done that. So if you have that, let's re-trigger that just to see what happens. Uh, so I'm just re-triggering the webhook. So this is a tag release and let's go to the Tekton site. So there is a tag release pipeline which usually starts. So we have in the tag release pipeline we check based on like if it's a tag release or it's a branch release then we do configuration check and then we do a tag release. So in a tag release we build that image and then push it to query. Now there is an additional step which is based on this particular thing where you have defined that I would like to have thought advices. 
So this is optional. You can define it in your check. And then based on this, there should be a taught advice pipeline starting. So I would hope it should have started. Uh, so it's taking some resources, it's waiting and it will start running. So as you can see, it's start running. So what it's doing in the background is getting information, requesting for advice. I hope it had requests for a cached one, right? So we have already run, I have already run it multiple times. So it's taken the advice from uh, from our recommendation system. And based on this, now it's going to log that file, create a pull request, and then uh, based on a uh, request to that, it is also going to change the GitOps repository. So it's cloning that, it's uh, doing changes to the manifest, adding that changes, and then committing that and raising a pull request. So let's see what happens actually here. It raised a pull request here. Uh, big, uh, so this says that it has been pinned down. There should be a pip block file with an update. So if you see the advice, uh, they'll have to add all these content to the pull request body, but this would uh, suggest that the pin down stack is already up to date. Uh, and so the only change we got here is uh, some base changes like index update. But because it was an internal TensorFlow update, it should also update the manifest file. So it has raised a pull request here based with respect to that. And uh, it's recommending file changes. So it is suggesting that this deployment patch can be added to your customized file. And all this is auto updated by the CI. So the CI will add these things. So like it's using the, the name which you have defined in the config file to update the particular deployment config. So this name should match to your base deployment config name, and then Argo CD will take the take care of the rest and deploy this application directly to your Kubernetes or op, OpenShift orchestrations. Uh, so this is still a work in progress. The things which will be updated would be the like more detailed body, like what we are doing. And uh, one step which is missing as of now is because I'm running it on my own system, uh, sorry, on, on my own cluster, and I don't have resources, so it's still building. Uh, but what will happen is uh, the image will also be built based on this, and it will be uh, updated with the information that this image can be used instead of the uh, released image, because this image has uh, can be used with these updates, and it will give you better performance or whatever you have chosen in your .yaml file. Uh, so that's what I had, and hopefully this will be soon in the production and you can use it on your uh, repositories as well. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Uh, thanks. No questions, but uh, two comments. Um, this is basically um, part of let's wrap all the things up and put together to create the um, predictable and uh, repeatable deployment pipeline. Um, again, uh, if you look at the core repository, the roadmap document in, in the docs uh, folder, um, that is one of our goals. We want to show that all the knowledge that we create, all the information that we aggregate, could be applied in such a pipeline um, to optimize uh, software stacks to create repeatable deployments. Um, that is one thing. And the other thing is, um, it is basically uh, taking your application, uh, building it, uh, doing the CI thing, but at the same time saying, hey, I know something about it, and creates all the pull requests required to uh, to deploy a better version of the same software stack, right? It creates uh, the, the overlays or the, the changes for customize to deploy the new stuff. It builds the optimized um, software stack into a container image and provides that container image up front. So um, it feels like we are basically burning a little bit of CPU and uh, disk to provide a better version. 
the user still needs to say, oh yes, uh, very cool, uh, thanks for the recommendation, I'm gonna merge all that stuff, I'm gonna use uh, the new uh, image, but I think um, that is a good investment on our side that we burn that CPU and um, disk to create the better version of the software. That's, um, that's pretty cool, uh, thanks for the demo. Any other questions or any real questions? Yeah, maybe for the timing, uh, for the, the timeline, sorry. The image is not uh, yet ready, but the pull request is already open. So if I accept it before it's already built, that would be a problem, right? Yeah, uh, right. So that, I was actually going to like ask you guys some suggestions because as of now, we have added this as a optional, like it's not, uh, it's not going to be default running on everyone's application but it's an option if anyone wants to switch it on. Uh, but the question, regarding the question, so right now the pipeline is designed to just build on tag release, and it's just checking uh, if the tag has been built and then these additional steps are happening. Uh, but in that additional step, we can add, uh, we can add this fu uh, function itself to build that particular PR and I'll first build that PR and then send out the pull request so we can definitely do that uh, as of now i just i just wanted to have a, so the idea what i i was thinking was first let's build the image let's the pull request first pull request which came into the actual repository let that let that get tested by the ci so we have these checks right build check and other checks let that get tested and if this is successful all are green let me create, let the CI create the other one along with that image information. So then, because the image will already be present and all the checks will be there, then we can define that, okay, here is this pull request. If you if you merge this one along with this, there is this pull request which will benefit you more if you use this particular image and uh, this particular changes. So that is the idea uh, and I'm testing it out, but. This was ready, so I wanted to demo it rather than demoing that, which is still in progress. And what but do you it think? Seems about it? To be, it seems to be a general um, feature of the CI. Whenever you open a pull request to a GitOps repository, make sure via a GitHub check that the images mentioned in the manifests are pullable or at least are published on, on Quay. Uh, so that, uh, if you're saying that's a, like, uh, so uh, maybe not the CI, like uh, if if the CI, we don't have it, we should have that implementation in. As of now, we don't have that. But if you're suggesting the Argo CD part of it, where Argo CD, if you define the image, Argo CD first okay. uh, pings you back, uh, that happens if you, um, uh, if uh, right now we are using this image stream method, if you don't use that image stream and if you define in the customized file that this image is to be pulled, then it will ping you at the beginning. But in this case, it will ping you uh, during the uh, during the deploy time. So it'll, during the deployment, it will say this image is not present. So that that's also a check, but you will receive it yes. during the deployment. Uh, yes, you're correct. It's it's an it's a check of the. Um... CD, uh, de uh, deployment, continuous deployment. No, that's uh, actually too late, isn't it? We shouldn't merge yes. that stuff if the image is not available. So it must be a check of the CI that is checking the pull request. Yes, I think this, this is something which we should also. Yeah, but uh, you were asking for suggestions. So here, here's yeah. a suggestion, uh, but uh, actually you are right. Um, it is uh, the continuous deployment which should be uh, sure all the images that I'm supposed to deploy are available. And I think we can gatekeep at the CI of a change to the GitOps repository that check would check for all the images are available or have been published. They are accessible from, from the CI system which yes, doesn't mean that, that they are accessible from the deployment system. Yes, exactly. So this is what I wanted to show you that uh, this will be a, in, uh, like this will run in an integration between the CI CD like together, uh, like 
even if the CI has committed all this, the CD still has to do its job. So it will still like use this customized file to deploy it, right? So if this name is not matching with the deployment, which is actually should be there, then it would also uh, alert the user saying this is not the correct patch. And I guess that's what will take the value out of. So we'll be making both the things work, like do its work rather than one pulling everything in. Yeah, but yeah, it might be it might be handy to um, either have an CI um, check that is really curling the the image or, or Docker pulling the image and checking if everything is okay. It might be something like like an uh, open policy agent check where we try to check is the um, customized manifest or the, the the yeah the customized manifest that we have created is it valid. Um, stuff like that um but it feels like a, a few new checks for the ai coe that are related to checking deployment configuration maybe we should ask our friends at um, operate first to contribute a little bit to that yes cool any other questions to uh, hush out for that part Thank you, Hashard. Thank you. Yes, Phil.